begin at 6 tonight with a new plan to keep the hallways safe at school after a principal was viciously beaten by a student. The superintendent has released a plan to reopen that school next week. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. New at 6, WBZ's Beth Germano spoke with the teenage suspect's aunt who says there's another side to the story. I saw um, a lot of commotion. 11th grader Hunter Bell coming to the Henderson Inclusion School along with other families looking to talk about the attack on Principal Patricia Lampron Wednesday afternoon. I've known her for many years and to see her like that was traumatizing for me. Classes were canceled for a second day but counselors made available as the principal recovers at her home after being knocked unconscious for several minutes by a student police say was asked to leave at dismissal time and claimed she was being provoked. It's one of several recent incidents at Boston Public Schools. Also yesterday at the McCormick Middle School in Dorchester, police say a teacher fell against a locker trying to break up a fight, a folding knife falling from the pocket of one student. Two weeks ago at the Higginson Lewis School in Roxbury, police say several staff members were assaulted by a parent. It's really shocking for our family that my niece is going through this. And she's only 16. The aunt of the Henderson student charged with assault says she remains in a juvenile facility. She doesn't want to be identified and believes there's more to what happened. I know her. She's not the person. She's not a troublemaker. She doesn't cause problems. She was provoked. In an email to Henderson parents, the superintendent says there will be more safety staff, additional counseling in and out of school, better shared communication with parents, and more crisis prevention training, which Mayor-elect Michelle Wu says is a start. Our schools should be a platform for young people and their families to access any number of services and opportunities that are available. Hunter Bell agrees students are feeling the stress and acting out more than ever. I don't feel safe at school right now because of all the fighting. Students return here over Monday and Tuesday next week with an interim head of school while the principal continues to recover. In Dorchester, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.